on an unrelated note, while I was at your website, I noticed this, YouTube. And it basically redirects you at that point to the channel. I wanted to make you aware that we have created a YouTube plug. We've created a lot of plugins here at the store. Uh, and we've got a couple of different ones that uh, cater to the uh, YouTube environment. For instance, uh, over here, you know, you have a plugin that says CM Lessons. Of course, it's not on our site, but we also have one called Sliders. And I've created here an example slide. And in that slider, we have individual slides. And those are the common things that you see that go from one image to another image and so on. But ours gives you the ability to use YouTube videos within it. Now, I've already pre-selected an ultra-wide orientation. I'll show you what that means. You can have between one and six individual panes per slide. I'll show you what that means. For now, let me just show you how we can upload a YouTube video into this environment. I'm going to go over to your channel. And we'll pick any video to start with. Okay. I think I've already, yeah, I've already taken a look at this one earlier. So I'm going to copy this video URL right here. I could also copy it from up here. Same thing. Okay, and then I'm going to just paste that right here. And what this is going to do is immediately going to communicate with YouTube and grab a screenshot of that video. Now you can change this screenshot if you would like a different one, but it pulls the one it finds at YouTube to start with. And we'll go ahead and crop that. I'll crop it underneath the black line there. Get a little closer to the margin. All right. Beautiful. We have our first image. All right. Now let's go back and put the second one for this particular slide. I'll grab another YouTube video. Again, random in nature. We'll just grab this one. Good morning. Oh. You got so the wrong much. one. I'm Miss Cam, and this is Miss. All right, pause that for a moment. I think I'll move that to the side, make it easier. Okay, and then we're gonna just put that URL right in there, and it picks uh, a random image that it has associated with the YouTube video, which again you can change and make custom. We'll crop that and put it in. And it tells us you've reached the maximum number of images for this one slide. Now, you can create a second slide. And we'll put, say, one big image on that slide. I'll show you how this works again in just a second. And we'll come back over here. We'll pick yet a different YouTube video. And it grabs, this is, a, this is going to be a long image because uh, we said we only wanted one on this particular slide. We'll go ahead and crop that. <clears throat> All right, so now we've got a couple. This will give you an example. And you see this ID of 1438 right here. Then you come over to any page you want to. And Aiva, you'll know, you'll know what I'm talking about here when I get into it. We've created, a, I've created an example page literally called uh, test, I think. Here we go. There we are, bridge YouTube channel page. Okay, so I created this just to kind of give you an example. I've put that ID right here so that it knows what to go for. And there's a couple of other things like the effect I want is to slide left. Um, and so that's, um, that's something that you'll learn as you go along if you end up going down this road. And then we come over to you, to the to this would be your website, of course, <clears throat> and we enter the page, which in this case is titled Bridge YouTube Channel. There we are. And you bring it up. And there you go. There's your slider. This allows you to have more control over the presentation of your YouTube videos. Instead of them directing them to your web to another website outside of your site, you get to see them right here within your own website. In fact, you can even you've got arrows on both sides, 
So if I wanted to click and go to the next slide, you see this is the one we said just show one. We could show as many as six different YouTube videos on a single slide. And any one of these that they click on, and it'll pop up in a media player. Good morning. Happy Sunday. We miss you guys okay. so much. I'm Miss Cam, and this is Miss Joe. Everyone say, Hi, Miss Joe. Hi, Miss Joe. Hi, Miss Joe. <laughs> okay, so the nice part about this is. This is all contained within the Bridges website. You don't have to go to YouTube to watch it. And uh, we slide over to this next one that has the nice, you know, full screen for one. We click on that. Same effect. And, you know, you might want to start off the video past that little intro bit. Um, it's up to you, but you, there's a way to do that as well. So you can, um, you can choose, as I say, two, three, four, six, however many videos per screen. And there's another plugin we offer that uh, is a gallery plugin. So you can have a gallery of images, um, and each one of them they can click on will expose the YouTube video. Uh, that's if indeed you would like a way to contain the YouTube content on your site uh, in the same way that you currently do with the media lessons. That's an FYI. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.